No, anti-nutrients like lectins and oxalates are not eliminated from your diet with all the various ways of preparation like cooking, boiling, germinating, or soaking. Do the above mentioned preparation techniques lower the concentrations of these anti-nutrients? Absolutely, but some activity does remain. So if you're eating a plant-based diet, you are getting a massive chronic dose of these anti-nutrients day in and day out over long periods of time. For example, oxalates in raw vegetables can be reduced by 30 to 87% only if you boil them, by 5 to 53% only if you steam them, and by 0% if you bake them. And a specific type of oxalate called insoluble oxalate can be reduced by cooking by 0%, yes, 0% to 74%. A specific example of how cooking veggies doesn't really eliminate anti-nutrients is the fact that boiling spinach only removes 60% of its oxalate content. And if you're steaming the spinach, you're only removing 30% of its oxalates. To learn more about why oxalates are not your friend if you don't want wrinkles at an early age and a whole host of health problems, watch this video I filmed on the topic. You have to also remember that when you cook your veggies to remove their anti-nutrients, you're also reducing their vitamin content, which is why you shouldn't rely on a plant-based diet to optimize for your nutrition. This is why I recommend desiccated organ supplements as a multivitamin in addition to eating a hypercarnivore diet. That way, you're getting far more nutrition from a natural source that has the proper proportion of nutrients to one another, and you're sparing your health from the barrage of anti-nutrient hits. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.